I don't feel like I've been getting beat. I just feel like people just been finishing ahead of me. Welcome back to Round Junkie. Now, so much went down this weekend, starting with the Prefontaine Classic, where we saw a new American Junior record. Miss Alexa Edmondson wants 403. Are you kidding me? Jenny Simpson ran four flat. But Alexa, is she now going to make the world team? Well, when she was like this, I was like, nah. But now, maybe. The big news out of distance tonight on Friday. Mo Farah taking the 10K, 26.50. Now, not as fast as we expected or he wanted to run, but we find out he has unlimited gears. And Galen Rubb takes third in his break, coming off of his, a long break from running an indoor season. Sancho takes second, beating Kiprop. Are you kidding me? And Evan Jager, 8.05. That's one hell of an opener. 8.05, and that's your first steeple of the year. Could he break eight minutes this year? Maybe. Over in the 200, everyone's favorite bad boy, Justin Gatlin, matches his personal best, 1968, completely dominates the field, and America rejoices. <laughs> and this weekend was the NCAA prelims, and the notable things going down, a lot of top names getting eliminated before the NCAA championship. Last year's top returner in the 1500, Sam Penzenstadler, is out. Number two performer this year in the 5,000 meters, Sam Stabler, is out. Armand Hall, one of the top gators in the 400, is out. Sam McKenty, a 336-1500 meter runner, is, is out again out again by 0.01. John Mascari, top 10 guy in cross country, he's out of the 10K. Jake Hers, one of the top buffaloes there from Colorado, out of the 15. A lot of big guys going out this weekend. And on the women's side, people scratch. Ramona Birchall has scratched the 100, and Courtney Ocolo, a 400 meter star, has scratched the 400, and people decided to run without shoes. About like nine or eight laps to go, I lost my shoe, which is kind of a bummer. Yeah, I didn't want to stop and take it off, obviously, so I was just trying to figure out how to get it off. And One of the Oregon guys kicked it off, I don't know, maybe it was an accident. Out in Greenville, South Carolina, Kyle Merbo runs 334, officially taking that Swarthmore monkey off his back and replacing it with a new Furman Elite monkey on his back. Kyle Merbo's got monkeys. And big news coming up this week, coming off a 401 mile at a state meet, Grant Fisher is going for it again, going for sub four, in the Nike Festival of Miles in St. Louis. Think he's gonna do it? I think he's gonna do it. Jordan McNamara is gonna be in that race. It's gonna go through in about two, uh, 255 through 1200. It is set up perfectly. It's gonna happen. And also, two days later, we're gonna be live at the Music City Distance Carnival in Nashville, Tennessee, where Nick Simmons is gonna be featured in that minor. We also have some good guys in the steeple, some in the eight. It's gonna be a great meet. And who, who's gonna run faster? Nick Simmons, he's never broken four outdoors. No. Grant Fisher's never broken four outdoors. Who's gonna run a faster four minute mile? I think they're four? gonna be awfully close. Different races. I think it's gonna be Grant Fisher running faster in the mile than Nick Simmons. But check it out, all the live content, Thursday and Saturday. It's going down, we're yelling timber. This is Lincoln, he's gonna go there because he's from St. Louis, right? I'm not from St. Louis. You a Nelly fan? App Am I a Nelly fan? You got your fit. Woo! I'm going down, down, baby. No street in a rainbow. I'm ready to 